Good day everyone, my name is Mahulan and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am at a place called Seal Bay in Kangaroo Island, South Australia. There are a series of videos from Kangaroo Island coming in our channel and if you guys haven't watched them all, I will leave the link of the videos in the description section below and you can check them out. So in today's video, we are going to go on a tour to look around, encounter closely and study about seals and sea lions in Kangaroo Island. These tours are operated by Seal Bay in Kangaroo Island and if you want to know more about them and their services, you can check that too in the description section of this video below. Just before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would like to ask you guys to consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon, which will encourage us to make more and more videos. And without further delay, let's go inside. This is the entrance guys. Let's go inside and see what are the things available at the reception area. At the front, we can see a skeleton of a seal. This is an adult seal skeleton. In this information board, the areas where Australian sea lions live are interpreted. As shown on the map, most of them are living in southern coast of South Australia and Western Australia. The Australian sea lions lead a fascinating double life. They live in water and land. The information about semi-aquatic mammals, seals and sea lions are interpreted here. As shown here, the differences between seals and sea lions depend on their noses. You can identify them by clearly focusing on their noses. There are three types of them living in Kangaroo Island. Australian sea lion, Australian fur seal and long nose fur seal are the three species here. Here on this board, you can get an understanding how the body parts of a seal or sea lion work when it swims. Seals and sea lions are mostly endangered by intaking the plastic waste and they are also getting trapped, injured and hurt by fishing net and other nylon products. That kind of information is presented here and people should be cautious about this as seals and sea lions are endangered and very low in population all around the world. You guys can also see the skin of a seal displayed here at the bottom. Guys, here we can get a souvenir coin for visiting this place. All you need to do is put a $2 coin in this machine and that will give you a shining gold coin with seal bay symbol on it. Alright guys, we got the coin here. This is that coin. This has seal bay sign and symbol on it on one side and the other side says National Parks and Wildlife, South Australia. It is very shiny, new and good looking. We can keep this as a memory of visiting this place. Alright guys, now it's time to go on to and visit the seals and sea lions closely. In this place, we can walk around this place on our own and look for seals and sea lions. The reason I have booked this tour is we can encounter seals and sea lions closely during the tours. We can learn some information about them and also the money we are paying for this tour is going to contribute for the research and conservation of the seals and sea lions. That is a really good thing and these are the reasons why I booked this tour. Thank you. 
you guys can see a boardwalk at the far there. That is where we are going to go through and encounter seals and sea lions at the beach. This is Leo and he is our tour guide today. He is telling us that there are three species of seals here in Kangaroo Island and the first one is long nose fur seals. If you guys watched our Admiral Sarge video, you would have seen them there. I will leave the link of that video in the description below and those who didn't watch, you can watch from there. The second one is Australian sea lion and the third one is called as Australian fur seal. These seals and sea lions are endangered species and there are only less than 10,000 seals in Kangaroo Island. As our guide said, there are few seal conservation centers in Kangaroo Island and Seal Bay is the only one conservation center where people can visit and see seals and sea lions. Compared to long nose fur seals, Australian sea lions are having less fur on their body and during winter season they used to come further into this island to stay in bush and car park. Our guide is also saying they can be also found in toilets sometimes. Seals and sea lions used to go to the sea for two to three days for fishing, hunting and feeding. They normally go up to 6200 kilometers into the sea and they never sleep or get rest when they are out there fishing and hunting for continuously two to three days. After that they come to the shore exhausted to sleep and take rest for another two to three days. So while we are heading to the beach, we need to be quiet and mindful without disturbing and causing any harm to them. Guys, you can see some bushes on this side. Sometimes there can be seals and sea lions found in them too. You can see a white sea lion resting at the far and when you look at the left, you can see another one in brown color. Wow, look at this seal here guys. He is very close to us. He's exhausted and lazy. I reckon he's still trying to sleep more. Alright guys, now we are very close to the beach. You can see a lot of seals and sea lions are there along the beach and now we are going to go down to the beach and have a closer look at them. Now what our guide saying is we are going to go down to the beach, we need to keep a fair distance between us and sea lions as these sea lions are exhausted taking rest and also this is a breeding season for them, we need to be quiet and calm without causing them any disturbances. You guys can see a lot of seals and sea lions are lying on this beach. Some of them are sleeping and taking rest and some of them are playing. These seals and sea lions always stay as a group. There is an adult male as a leader of each group. He is called as bull and there will be two to three females and their children in that group. Guys, you can see a sea lion hopping and coming towards us. 
he is a subordinate male and he was trying to mate with the female sea lions at the back but what happened was the actual bull a big brown sea lion at the back he came there and kicked him out of his family so this buddy here is coming back with a broken heart It is said that a sea lion becomes sexually mature at the age of 4 to 5 and once it becomes adult male sea lions are called as bulls and female sea lions are called as cows. As our guide says the bull we are looking at the far should be around 20 years old and his weight should be around 300 to 350 kilograms while a fully grown female sea lion will weigh around 70 to 90 kilograms. The one which was kicked out before should be around the age of 10 to 12 and he is a subordinate male. Look at the far guys. You can see two sea lions are fighting with each other for any reason and another two are trying to join them in the fight. You might have heard some growling sound while they are fighting. These sea lions communicate using various barks, grunts and growls. Oh, now they both went into the sea and the fight is still continuing in the sea. Normally, these sea lions eat fish, squid, crabs, octopus and other sea creatures. And some large sea lions are known to prey on penguins when given the opportunity. Another interesting fact about these Australian sea lions is their gestation period is around 18 months. The longest gestation of any marine mammal and second longest gestation on the planet after elephants. When giving birth, each mother usually gives birth to a single pup. Twins are rare and mothers seldom adopt other pups. Guys, look at the big brown color sea lion. He's the biggest sea lion we have seen here today. He should be around two meters. This place is a very beautiful place, guys. It's good to be here. All right, guys, that's the end of our tour. And now we are heading back. You can see a boardwalk at the far along the mountain range. People can walk on that boardwalk and look for seals and sea lions on their own. But they can walk to the beach and encounter them closely as we did in this tour. On our way back, we are here at this small gift shop at the entrance. Let's have a quick look around this place. There are small toys in the shapes of seals and sea lions on this side. 
There are also some toys of monitor lizard, shark and penguins on this side. Look at the top there guys, there is a big size seal soft toy there. On this side you guys can see some magnetic photos and clips carrying some beautiful images. Following them you can see some badges, stationaries, key tags and other items. There are also a few varieties of socks available from this seal bear gift shop. Just like every other gift shops in Australia, this one also has water bottle, flask and coolers having seal and seal lines, photos and symbols on them. Alright guys, it was a great experience. This place is really a nice place guys. Should be in your bucket list if you guys are coming to Kangaroo Island in Australia. I will leave more details of this place in the description below and you guys can check that out. Alright, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys would have liked this video and if you did so, please leave a thumbs up on this video. Consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. I will see you all in another video soon. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.